I have to show you guys today is from Pop Beauty. It is called Turquoise. Um, and this was another one that I got at the same time as I got Loud Lime in one of those drugstores. Can't rem quite remember if it is Rite Aid or if it, if it was CVS 360, but yeah, another color that I bought. This one I definitely picked up because it was like a turquoise color and it caught my eye versus I did go searching for Loud Lime. Um, and this is what it looks like in the first coat. It applies okay, but it's not totally opaque, so I will do a couple coats. I'm gonna go now with the second coat of, what was it called? Oh, it was just called turquoise. Um, and this gets fully opaque in two coats. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's like the best formula. It's not the worst either though. It does have one of those formulas that is a little bit finicky, so you will wanna be careful when you do multiple strokes of polish on your nail if you look for this one or own this one. Um, so yeah, that is two coats of turquoise. So this is what it looks like up close. This one I am going to de-stash because again, I have a lot of turquoises, so I am just trying to wean down the stash at this point. So yeah, that is Turquoise by Pop Beauty. The next polish that I have to show you is Sally Hansen's Insta-Dry Color in Retail Therapy. And this one I actually picked up because Holly did a video um, either, I think it was with Sally Hansen um, or she was showing a bunch of these Sally Hansen Instant Dry Colors and they were all like one coaters. So I picked one up as well and look at that. One coat and fully opaque teal. This one I've actually been using in this series quite a bit as a base color for a bunch of like top coat type of polishes. So um, you've probably seen this a couple of times already, but yeah, that is one coat of Retail Therapy. So here's what Retail Therapy looks like up close. This one I am gonna keep, it is a one coater and I use, I use it a lot actually as um, a base color for most of my teal manicures. So this one is staying in my stash. The next color that I have to show you is from Sinful Colors and this is the color in Nail Junkie. This is one that I saw walking by like in Walgreens and it was one of those like, <gasps> it's so pretty moments and so I picked it up and we haven't really worn it all that much since, but anyway, um, this is a very, very sheer jelly formula with a bunch of mermaidy type of opalescent chunky glitters inside. Um, most people, I think, use this as a top coat, but I tend to use this like as a layering polish, so I'll show you what it looks like when you layer it up about three times. Um, but yeah, that is what Nail Junkie looks like in the first coat. I'm going to go in now with the second coat of Nail Junkie, and this builds up a color a lot of color, surprisingly. Um, you can see that it gets, it doesn't, I don't think this polish ever really gets fully opaque, but again, I use it to layer up in between other colors. And so, yeah, that is what Nail Junkie looks like in its second coat. Um, and yeah, it's a surprisingly easy polish to work with considering it is a jelly. Sometimes I feel like jellies drag on themselves quite a bit and there is quite a bit of glitter pickup in there as well. I'm gonna go in with the third coat again just to show you what it looks like when it layers upon itself. I don't think this ever really gets fully opaque. Um, and again, I think most people use this as a top coat, but yeah, um, I kind of like the way that these polishes look by themselves on the nails, like jelly polishes with opalescent glitters. This is the same as, um, Last Friday Night by OPI. It has that same sort of effect and I just, I love the way that looks. So yeah, that is three coats of uh, um, Nail Junkie by Simple Colors. So here's what Nail Junkie looks like up close. This one I am gonna keep. Again, I like layering this polish in between other polishes for those sort of jelly sandwich type of manicures. The next color that I have to show you is called Aqua, and this is another Simple Colors color. I think this is another one that I like saw and walked by and was like, oh, it's turquoise and I should pick it up. Um, so yeah, this one is a sheer sort of blue base with a golden shimmer running through it, which I think is why they call it turquoise, or sorry, Aqua. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like in the first coat. It's actually surprisingly opaque for this type of formula. Um, and it builds up really well. So that's the first coat of Aqua. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Aqua and this gets fully opaque in two coats. Um, if you do really sheer coats like I did on my pinky finger, then you will have to do three coats. But if you do thicker coats like I did on my index and middle finger, then it'll get opaque in two coats. So yeah, that is two coats of Aqua. So here's what Aqua looks like up close. This one I am gonna use de-stash. Again, I just have a lot of turquoises, so um, 
I have to cut them down and this is gonna be one that's gonna go. This is the Jessie's Girl color in Glee and this is basically a dupe for um, Zoya's Charlotte. It is a little bit chunkier than Charlotte, but it's essentially the same color. And yeah, I have this one as a backup for Charlotte. So I will be keeping this one, but yeah. I take this one with me sometimes if I wanna take like Charla, but I don't wanna like lose my bottle of Charla. So um, this one comes with me to do touch-ups and such. So yeah, that is the first coat of Glee. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Glee and this gets fully opaque in two coats. And yeah, not very much to say about it, but aside from the fact that it's the same color as Charla. So yeah, that is two coats of Glee. So here's what Glee looks like up close. Again, I'm keeping this one as my like backup backup for Charla. So yeah, that is Glee by Jessie's Girl. The next polish I have to show you is the Sally Hansen HD color. This is in the color spectrum. Um, again, I will tell you right now that this one I am gonna keep. I will show you what it looks like though. Um, and yeah, this is a very sheer glass fleck color. I love it. I do love my glass flecks. This is a really light um, aqua blue color with a bright pinky purple shimmer running through it. And I loved this collection of polishes from Sally Hansen. I wish they kept still making them because these were amazing. So yeah, that is the first coat of Spectrum. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of Spectrum and this builds up quite a bit of color for two coats. Um, and it also builds quite a bit of the shimmer as well, but you can see that it does need a third coat to get that polish fully opaque. Because there's so much shimmer, it does reflect very opaquely. Um, so yeah, that is two coats of Spectrum. So I'm gonna go in with the third coat of Spectrum, and this gets fully opaque in three coats. And yeah, not much to say, but it's very pretty and I really like it. So yeah, that's three coats of Spectrum. So here's what Spectrum looks like up close. At this angle, you can't really see the shimmer or the colors in the shimmer, but um, yeah, it's really pretty nonetheless and this one I am going to keep. I'm gonna go in now with the next color and this is from Barry M again and this is called Guava and I don't know why it's called Guava because it's like turquoise, but um, it's a really pretty color nonetheless and it has a very good formula just like the other Barry M colors that I've shown you um, and yeah. It is a bright turquoise color and it is actually opaque in one coat as well. So yeah, I am going to paint my other nails and I'll show you what it looks like up close. So I am gonna de-stash this one. Um, I have, again, a lot of turquoises even though <laughs> I've said that about every other turquoise color in this video. Um, so yeah, this one is going to get de-stashed. I'm gonna go in with the next color and this is another Sally Hansen HD color. This is in the color DVD and this is my favorite of the Sally Hansen HD colors. Um, it is like a beetle's wing sort of color. So it goes from blue to purple and it's so vibrant in its shimmer and I love it. It's very sheer in the first coat like the other ones are, um, but it builds up really beautifully. So that's the first coat of DVD. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of DVD and this adds quite a bit of color again. Um, the shimmer gets really strong and yeah, you can see how pretty the shimmer is in that second coat. I will do a third coat though so that it is fully opaque. So yeah, that is two coats of DVD. I'm gonna go in now with the third coat of DVD. I accidentally already painted my index finger without <laughs> recording um but yeah this is the third coat and it adds full opacity to the nail it's so pretty and yeah that is three coats of dvd so here is what dvd looks like up close again i am keeping this one as well it's my favorite of the hd colors and i really wish that they had kept this one permanent um, particularly this one permanent the next polish i have to show you guys is called laser this is another sally hansen hd color this is a dark blue with a purple shimmer running through it and like the other two this is sheer in the first coat but it does build up really nicely you guys can see that sort of dark blue base comes out pretty strong. Well, strong for this type of finish in that first coat. So yeah, that is laser. I'm gonna go in now with the second coat of laser and this builds up quite nicely in the second coat like the other ones. It does need a third coat to get fully opaque though, but you can see the color and shimmer come out quite nicely in that second coat. So that's two coats of laser. I'm gonna go in now with the third coat of laser. So this is fully opaque in three coats and you can see how sparkly and opaque it gets. So yeah, that's three coats of laser. So this is what it looks like up close. This one I'm gonna keep as well. 
So the last color I have to show you is the original Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. This one is another one that I am going to keep. Um, and yeah, this is the famous one coater blue that they reformulated to be sort of awful. Um, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous mid-tone cool blue color. It is amazing. It has a great formula and they changed it for no good reason. So yeah, that is one coat of Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue and I'll show you guys what it looks like up close once it dries. So this is what Pacific Blue looks like. I am going to keep this one. It's so pretty and I'm so annoyed that they reformulated it. But yeah, that is Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. So these are the polishes that I am keeping this round. I hope you guys like this video. Sorry that it's uploading a little bit late. I'm actually filming this Saturday morning so you guys should be seeing this by Saturday afternoon. So yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you guys next week.